Several University of Arizona students have told News 4 Tucson that they received text messages from the Kamala Harris campaign asking them to register to vote and to elect her too. And that is not sitting well with some U of A students we spoke to tonight. News 4 Tucson's Jafet Serrato is live on campus and has reaction from these students who received the unwanted texts. Jafet. Sean, some University of Arizona students say they do not care that the Kamala Harris campaign sent those text messages. What they do care is their privacy. Benjamin Jackson identifies as a Republican and attends the University of Arizona. He gets lots of text messages every day, but he never expected to get this one from the Kamala Harris campaign that started with, Hi, Wild. It was blatant uh, campaign material telling them to vote um, for one specific candidate. A lot of students did not sign up for this. Jackson thinks at least a dozen of his friends got the text too, including Lalo Mercado. We're supposed to have a nonpartisan way of life, um, and so like if you don't want to be interested in that, then you should have the right to not receive text messages. Now they both want to know how the Harris campaign got their data. They believe the University of Arizona compromised their personal information. But the university says it did not receive a request for directory information from the Harris campaign, saying, Organizations can request directory information through the University of Arizona Office of Public Records. Under federal law, directory information is not considered private unless students opt to withhold it from public disclosure. They say students can make this election at any time through their online student portal. Our NBC affiliate in Phoenix, 12 News, reports that Arizona State University students also receive Kamala Harris campaign texts. They say the Arizona Board of Regents claims a federal law called FERPA allows political candidates to buy college students' contact information. Whether or not it's legal or not, that is a serious question that needs to be solved. Jackson believes it would be a very different story if the Republican Party sent out a text like this to students. There would be an incredible outrage if this was a text from Donald Trump. Um, I think the university would be incredible amounts of hot water. Their donors would be saying things right now. I did reach out to the Harris campaign today to comment on whether or not they bought students information to use for these types of unsolicited text messages. Live in Midtown, Fetzerado News 4 Tucson. And if you would like to keep from getting these types of texts, you can opt to withhold your contact information at the U of A. Just look for the story on our homepage, kboa.com, for the link.